Today we're going to talk about capacitors and the different types of capacitors that you have. The first thing I want to point out is a capacitor that we had checked. I want you to look very lightly here. You can see it's barely swollen. Okay? Now I want you to look at one that actually has swollen out the top. When you see that, folks, that that's bad right off the bat. You know that's that's not very good. So what we're going to do here, we're going to set these back over here. Then I want to point out the different type of capacitors. This one is assembled in Mexico. Okay. These are assembled in China. You can see it down here. See China. And these are American made. Folks, I highly recommend that we use American made products. They're much superior, much better. They last longer. And you know what? It's only a dollar or two more. I'm sure if you asked your customers if they would rather have an American made product versus something made in China or Mexico, they would go for American because we got to work, folks. And the other thing I want to show you and point out look at this. It makes it easier for the technician to have a green cap. They know that's fan, that's industry standard. Here they have a white cap, industry standard. Once again, the technician don't have to worry about it. He has a common, he knows black is common. So now the technician can speed up, put the wires on much quicker, and you as AC contractor should understand and realize that by using the American product, not only are you keeping the American worker to work, but also your technician is going to work a lot faster. Let's talk about the old style capacitors. Let's talk about one made in China for instance. Another China capacitor. One quick way to identify which one is common, which one is Herm, and which one is fan is the four point is the common because you're usually going to have more wires on the common than anything else. The next one is going to be the uh, hermetic compressor. You got three. The next one is the fan. You got two. But you notice how these are all black. You just learned this from experience. But see how you, when you get the American capacitor, look at the different folks. It's worth the extra dollar to keep the American workers to working. Also, I just want to point out one of the capacitors made in Mexico. Same thing. You're going to have the common, the herm. See, look at the herm and the fan. I just want to point out what I'm showing you. This one here only has one terminal. Okay. Now what we're going to talk about also is bad capacitors. So I'm going to bring this one up here to me. Now we are going to go, once again, we know this is common. We've established that. And we're going to go to, we put the uh, fill piece meter on microfarads. That's what that MFD stands for. You have to measure capacitors in microfarads. Nothing I want to point out with the American capacitor before I forget. This capacitor here for instance is rated 40 plus 5 microfarads. Look at that folks. Plus or minus 10 percent. So that means this capacitor can work at 36 to 44 microfarads. The, the 5 can work anywhere from three and a half to 6.5 because you have a wide variance of percentages plus or minus 10 percent. I want to point out a China or this one's actually excuse me, made in Mexico. Look at this. Now we have a 50 and a 5 but I want you to look at this very closely. This only has a plus or minus rating of 6 percent so it's plus or minus 6 percent. So the band on this one is much tighter. So this capacitor has to work between 47 and 53 microfarads. This one has to work somewhere between about 4 and 6, okay? Because the band is much loose. So what that means is this capacitor is more apt to fail much quicker and much faster than your American counterpart. That's why it's worth that extra money, okay? I'm going to just show you this capacitor real quick. We're at common and we are hermetic. You have nothing. Common and fan, you have nothing. That's because we know this one's bad all the way. This, bad, this capacitor is totally bad, so we're going to set it all the way out. I'm going to show you a good one here, okay? Once again, 
we're going to go from common, because we know this is black as common, and hermetic. Let me turn that right here, folks. Common to hermetic. Okay, now this capacitor is rated 40 microfarads. See what it's falling into? 36.7. So you're at your plus or minus 10%. This capacitor is good. I'm going to go to common to fan, which is my green. This is also a 5 microfarad capacitor on the common to fan, and that's right on the money, folks. So this is a... Not only is it a brand new capacitor, but it's a good American-made capacitor. I'm going to show you also a lot of times on the fans that we put in, the blower fans that we put in the indoor air handlers, this capacitor is rated 10 microfarads. Okay, and on, you, you've only got two terminals here. You're going to go from common, which is going to be fan. You're going to go straight across. This is 10, so let's see where we're at. We're at nine. We're at ten right on the money. So we know this capacitor is good because that's what it reads: is ten microfarads. Okay. So if you have any questions, give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical, two three nine five nine six five eight five five.